Welcome to the world, everybody. Um, today, what we're going to do is we are going to be swatching a couple of new palettes I got. So we're doing this today. I wasn't planning on filming this today, but um, a video that I filmed, like, literally earlier today was such a letdown that I was like, I need to do something to turn this around and hopefully this is what's going to turn this around. Um, I will link that uh, video up here somewhere, uh, maybe up here somewhere, I don't know. Oh, by the way, by the way. Um, trying to figure out where I want to be in frame because we are going to be swatching on my arm. The palettes that we are going to be swatching I found at Walmart. Um, I will link them in the description down below. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe, please. I would very much appreciate it. You don't have to if you don't want to, but if you want to stick around for the fun, you can. Uh, what these are is these are Pro Fusion Cosmetic Palettes. Um, I have the Pro Pigment Palette. Look how shiny and pretty that is. And then I have what I think is supposed to be her sister palette, which is Wonderlust. And you guys, these are so pretty. I haven't done a look with these yet. Like, I haven't dipped into these yet. I, the, they still have their tape on them. I haven't even opened them yet. Um, so we're going to do that now. And we're going to swatch them. And I'm very excited to swatch them. And, like, so far just looking at them, they had a lot of palettes. And, you guys, these were only, like, ten bucks, which is amazing. Um, but they, and they had a lot of them. They had, like, chocolates and siennas and nudes. And a, they had some mini palettes, too. They had, like, a smoky and a neon and a spectrum. And they had a metallics. And I'm really waiting for the metallics to get back in stock for me to order it. Um, but I wanted to kind of go through and read the names to see if, like, any of them double-crossed or, like, showed up in bulk. So in Pro Pigment, we have Precious, Lively, Atomic, Bling, Pop, Frosting, Shimmy, Beloved, Dizzy, Rush, Devoted, Disco, Jive, Bestie, Crackle, Power Up, Adorn, Bordeaux, Queen, Go Girl, and Nebula. And then they appear, oh, no, they're about half and half. And what's really nice is these come with a little brush. I don't know how that brush feels yet, but these come with a little brush. And then in Wanderlust, we have Illusion, Tranquil, Chill, Serious, Frosting. So Frosting does show up in both of them. Okay. Uh, Gravity, Love Story. Oh, I almost dropped it. Majesty, Hypnotic, Jade, Stormy, Splash, Regal, Nimbus. Go Girl shows up in both of them. Because Go Girl is in this one and in this one, but they don't look exactly the same. Um... I'll kind of show it to you here in a second. Retro, Enigma, Cruise, Nostalgia, Statement, and Coast. So, here's the Go Girl in, ah, in the Wanderlust palette. And then here's the Go Girl in the Pro Pigment palette. And, like, they're similar, but they don't look exactly the same. So, it'll be interesting to see how they swatch. So... We're going to go ahead and I think we're going to take the tape off them both. And I don't know if I should start with the Pro Pigment or if I should start with the Wanderlust. Part of me wants to start with the Pro Pigment because it's got this like really hot pink in here, the Jive. Um, and I'm really curious to see like how it comes about, how it swatches. And I am in the process of organizing my makeup and my space, you guys. So, is that, is that all the tape? That is all the tape. Okay. Ready, ready, ready? Our first opening. Now, what I find really interesting, like, these were taped shut, so I'm not super concerned about the sanitization. But I find really interesting that there's not, like, something over this to protect the palettes or the shades. Um, but I'm not mad at it. I do like how on the outside it's rose gold and then the inside of the lid is actually silver. I kind of like that contrast. I'm just going to take the tape off the Wanderlust so we can get it out of the way.
Oh, that's really interesting. So the Pro Pigment, the top was just taped down, but the Wanderlust actually has one of those things I was talking about that prevents you from... Huh. And it's like glued down on the side. So that's... I wonder why that is. I wonder how many of the other palettes are that way. So maybe they're not sister palettes. Maybe I'm wrong. But we're going to go ahead and peel up this plastic bit. I love that noise. I like how, so one of the things I really like about these is that that lid sits. If I want it that way, if I want it that way, like that, it's got a good hinge on it. They don't feel poorly made, which is really nice. And it's a good sized palette. So I'll be, I'll be intrigued to see, ooh, that's a soft brush. We're gonna compare the brushes. You actually get two different brushes. So this one is like, they're both a version of a flooper, but this one's like a little bit of a shorter flooper. And it's a little bit thinner. Whereas this one, as you can tell, is like a lot thicker. Um, there's not like a brush number or anything. So I don't know if it's intentional for you to have two different brushes. They're both really soft. I look forward to using those. I'm not gonna use them today because we're just swatching today. Let me read the back of this. Yeah, it just says and brush. So, huh. Huh. Okay. Well, we're going to start swatching. I think what we're going to do is we're just going to go through, go through the palettes and then maybe just kind of go through them row by row because I want to be able to like put the go girl next to the go girl. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. And so what we're going to do is we're going to start with the Wanderlust. We're going to start with Illusion and I'm just going to run my finger through it once. And on the finger, you guys, it seems kind of light. It's really soft. So we're going to just kind of start right here below my tattoo. Let me get a little closer. Ooh, pretty. And it doesn't leave, like it's very sheer. And it doesn't leave a whole lot left behind on the finger. So next we're going to use Tranquil. These are very smooth, you guys. I really love the formula of these. I don't know if we're going to be able to see the more like meh, the lighter ones on my skin because I'm very pale. Next, we're going to go into chill. Oh, that's kind of a goldish color. Okay, I got to look at this one so I can see where I'm going. You can't really see these. Like, they are very sheer, you guys. But it feels so nice, though. We're going to use my little towel. Wipe off my fingers. Next, we're going to pop in with the first three. No, we'll just keep going. We'll just keep going. Next, we're going to do Sirius, which is kind of a sea foamy. Ooh. That's really pretty. Ooh. Guys. Okay, I apparently need to be doing it like over here on my arm. Okay. That's super pretty. Okay. We're gonna like grab frosting from each palette. Ooh. 
that's interesting. On uh, these two fingers and swatch them next to each other. They're definitely the same color. So you can't see them. Okay, you can kind of see them. The bottom, this is not working. You guys, this is not working. Okay, if I hold my arm up and get closer. And, okay, and so I just need to swatch here. Well, that's gonna be interesting. Okay, the frosting are pretty much the same color. We're gonna start swatching here. The one from the Wanderlust palette is a little bit more pigmented. And I think that's just because there's more glitter to it. It, it. it feels a little bit more there. So next we're gonna go ahead and do Gravity from the Wanderlust palette. Ooh. And we're gonna just put that right here. on it did you just can't tell it love story maybe this one will show up because it's a little bit more okay so you can kind of see that one a bit more and since we're going on the wanderlust i think we're just going to keep going on the wanderlust no because i want to see what the shimmy does darn it okay then we're going to do pop from the pro pigment oh wow that's like a whole lot of pop. Not a whole lot of pigment though. Like you can, I can see it. You guys just can't see it. What the heck? Bling. Bling, I think you guys will be able to see. Yeah, okay. Oh, see, now you can kind of see them. So... I'm just barely touching these palettes. And what's really nice is even in just swatching them, they are blending out really nicely. And they are just so nice to touch, you guys. Okay, that last one that I just put on is Lively. And the last ones I'm going to do are Precious. Atomic. Ooh, guys, look what Precious does. And Shimmy, which is very gold. Oh, oh my lord. These are palettes after my own heart. And we're just going to kind of all three of them right there. Ooh. Like, you can't really see the color because these are all mostly shimmer, but you can see the shimmer. Oh, I can't wait to play in these. But I'm running out of arm room. So I'm going to do a bad thing, guys. Don't ever do this. <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. I'm going to use some rubbing alcohol to get it off my arm. Don't do this, folks. This is just my little Dollar Tree squisher. Well, not my squisher. It's it's just a little, like, pumpy bottle. It's got rubbing alcohol in it because I'm rubbing out of room. Oh, it made a pretty color on the top. Don't do that, guys. That's real bad for your skin. And I know it's real bad for my skin, and I'm going to go do, like, extra moisturizing a little bit later to make up to my skin for that. And I'm so sorry, Arm, but I needed spice so that I could do more swatches. So I think we're going to go ahead and continue in the Pro Pigment, and we're going to go with Beloved. Another kind of shiny, shimmery one. I think a lot of these shimmers are meant to be, like, shimmers ooh that that's there for a shimmer that's got some color that was dizzy now we're gonna go with rush rush didn't pick up a whole lot so i'm gonna dip my finger in it again 
and the girl worm. Okay. I love how you can even see them from back here. Ooh, this is gonna be pretty. Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna flip this around so that I can get to that little alcoholic spot so I can keep cleaning off my fingers. Again, don't do this to your skin, guys, it's bad. I'm gonna go in with Devoted. Oh, that's so soft. That's so, like, velvety soft, you guys. I'm gonna put it here. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, you guys. I like just instantly got a bunch of different eye looks that I want to do with that. Mm. We're about to get into some fun colors. Next is Disco. Oh my gosh, you guys. These are so soft. These are so indescribably soft. Okay. So I think once you get out of like that top row of shears, you start really getting some, that is real bright pink. Oh, I've got plans for, oh, that makes me curious about Jive. Oh, come on Jive, work for me. It's a highlighter. Like not like a highlighter for your face, but it like, it reminds me of a highlighter from when I was in school. That's interesting. So it comes off a lot darker than it is in the palette, like in the palette. It is straight neon, but on my arm, it's more like mauve -y? I'm not mad at it. I think we can make some fun looks with that. Okay, up next is going to be Bestie, which is kind of a tan color. You guys watching this with me, oh, this definitely makes up for that icky slime video because these are just so soft. Oh, that's a nice transition color. We're gonna go back to the other end of the Pro palette because I don't wanna dip into Nebula just yet because I think it's, I think Nebula next to Bordeaux are one of the darkest colors in this palette. Um, actually, no, we're going to do the next, I feel like I'm confusing you guys. So we're going to finish this palette and then we're going to swatch Go Girl on the back of my hand so that we can match it to the other Go Girl. Yeah, I think that's the smartest way to do this. So next is Crackle, which is another shimmer shade, but it's a darker shimmer, so... Okay. And then power up. I love some of these. Ooh, you guys, that's pretty. Mm, kind of a lighter there. Like it's a darker color, but lighter in pigment. Okay. Next, we're going to go ahead and go in with Adorn. And my finger didn't pick a whole lot up, so we're just going to run through Adorn again. And just go further down my arm. Not bad. Next up is Bordeaux. Nice and dark. I'm going to come farther over here because... Ooh. Just kind of blend that out a bit. That's really pretty. Okay, up next is Queen. I love the name of the shadow. That's really sheer, you guys. Like, my finger barely picked up anything, so I'm going to go through it for another swatch. And up. And back. Mmm. I feel like Queen is going to be more of like a transition or a, pop, a topper. 
Okay, next we're going to do Go Girl after we get some of these pigments off of my fingers. Swipe through. What I'm really shocked by, you guys, is how, like, re okay, so the top one, the one closest to my knuckle, is going to be from Pearl Pigment. Okay. Blend it out a bit. Okay. What really surprises me, you guys, is that these are all super soft. Like, for... These, these are really good for a $10 palette. Last one in the Pro Pigment pa Oh, it's Nebula. Oh, guys. Oh, guys. And right there. That's one swipe. That is one swipe. What happens if I, like... Blend it a bit. Like, I realize it's right at my... Oh, my gosh, you guys. <sighs> yes. mm. Oh, and it, like, kind of blends out purpley on your finger. Be still my beating heart. Okay, I think we're going to have to switch arms, so we're going to slide our camera this way. So that we can use this arm so that I can kind of show you guys. Guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm definitely going to need more of these palettes. You guys. I don't even know where I want to start. Okay, we're going to start with the greens and then go into the pinks on the second row. So we're going to go Majesty. Oh my gosh. We're going to tighten my watch up and move. Here, we're just going to take my watch off. Hang on, wind up. And. You guys. <sighs> Hypnotic. It, it can't just keep getting better. It, like, ha. Huh. Ooh. It can't. Like, it's not possible. I'm not even a green, a fan of green. And I'm, like. How is it every color I touch is better? Like. Where's, where's my spot? Where's my spot? How? How? Is this a thing? I do not understand. Okay. Oh, that, that jade does not want to come off my finger. Oh, there we go. Okay. It's probably getting it all over my tank top. Okay. Stormy. Oh my gosh, you guys. Like. Ha. Huh. Like, clearly... Ooh, splash. Oh, my God. Like, I'm sorry, you guys, but... Oh, my... I, I'm so, I, you're gonna hear a lot of that, apparently. Regal. Ah. Ooh. That one needs blended a bit, but mm. Nimbus is another shimmer, but these shimmers have been no, no, no. How were these only ten dollars? How? And they're not leaving like a ton of residue on my finger. Like there's a little bit of residue on my finger, but not like so much. Okay, let's go with Coast. Kind of a cocoa-y color. Statement? 
Guys, statement is making a statement. I'm gonna I'm just, I can't, oh my god. Cruz, let me get, let me, let me. So the browns do leave a bit of leftover on your fingers. Cruz. You guys. Oh. Oh. It looks black, but it's not. It's like when the light hits it, it's blue, and then it's green, and then it's. Oh, I'm in the. I'm in the. Oh, Enigma. I'm just gonna keep going down my arm. What? What? Oh. Okay, the last two. Retro. And then we're gonna try the Go Girl next to the other Go Girl. Retro is so pretty. Retro is so pretty. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is way more vibrant than I expected. My brain is broken. My brain is, oh my God. Oh my God. Like if I wasn't already wearing a full face of makeup. Oh, I know what I am doing tomorrow, you guys. Okay. Now we're going to compare the two Go Girls. So this is the Go, Go, Go Girl from the Pro Pigment palette. And this is the Go Girl from... Why is the Go Girl from Wanderlust more pigmented than the Go Girl from the... I'm going to go in with another swatch of Pro Pigment. Just so that like I can try and give a... like. Like, they're not the same. Like, maybe if I blend it out. Well, okay, I guess they're kind of the same. It just, for some reason, the Wanderlust takes less product to get that pigmentation. They feel the same. Regardless, they're both gorgeous. Oh my god, you guys. I think I have to get more of these palettes, you guys. Okay. Oh, these are things we need. Okay, we're gonna put our little brushes. Actually, no, we're gonna put our brushes with our brushes. I know what I'm doing tomorrow. We're doing a makeup look with these. I don't know what makeup look we're gonna do yet, but we're gonna do a makeup look with these. I almost wanna use like as many colors as humanly possible, but I think that might be a bit much. We're in for some interesting days. Good thing I've got some nude lips. Because we're going to go with some colorful eyes. Oh, you guys. That was such a great turnaround for the night. Oh, okay. So, like, I'm not going to give a full-on review of them. Because I haven't tried putting them on my eyes yet. I haven't tried seeing how they blend together. I haven't tried seeing, like, what happens when you blend them. Actually, We're going to take my floofer brush and see what happens if we blend, like, say, this pink one out. Okay, so, like, it blends out a bit, but the color stays. Guys, maybe if I, like, try with the darker one. The fact that I'm just sitting here blending my elbow. Oh, you guys, I think these are about to become one of my top shelves. I think I'm going to have to, like, come up with a ranking system. Because I look like a rainbow and I've never been happier. Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah. 
these are a thing. So I'm going to try them on my eye and then from there I'm probably going to decide if I'm going to get other palettes. Let me know what you guys think down below. Have you guys used this brand? Like, are any of you familiar with this brand? Like, because I didn't know this brand was a thing. It, I, I found it and I'm like, and I didn't even find it. My sister found it. So, you guys, we're about to have some fun. Not tonight, but we're about to have some fun. So stay tuned because I'm, I'm, I have a feeling I'm going to use those a lot. Oh, hmm. I'm already, I've, I've already got so many ideas. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop off here and I'm going to go start writing down ideas so I don't forget them because there's just so many in my head right now. Let me know what you guys think. And also, like, so I got mine at Walmart. So go ahead and pop onto walmart.com and look up the Profusion Cosmetic eyeshadow palettes. And if you see one that you guys think I should, like, be leaning toward, like, I know I want to get the metallics as one of my next ones. But, like, I'm going to slowly collect these because I do my makeup every day. <laughs> like, not every, every day, but a lot of the days. And I'm finding that I'm using more eyeshadow than I used to use because I'm doing actual, like, full-on looks. So, I want to, I, I'm, I think I, my makeup collection is going to grow. Also, I have palettes that I want to display. So, what do you guys think would be a great way to display those? Let me know in the comments down below. On that note, I'm going to pop off here and go start a Google Doc of eye looks that I want to do. So, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Stick around for the fun. Um... It was wonderful chatting with y'all. Remember, be kind to one another, be kind to yourselves, be the change you want to see in the world. And as always, like, especially right now, remember, a smile is infectious. And if you need help smiling, think about my rainbow arms. <laughs> it was wonderful talking with you guys, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.